I want to say an opening prayer and a protection prayer um, to any of the spirits who wish to communicate through this device tonight and with us tonight in general. Uh, we want to invite the good spirits only, um, the negative spirits. We do not want you to accompany us on this journey. If you want to make yourself known, make yourself known in a way to where you're not physically, mentally harming us. Um, we know that whoever our God is in this room, whoever believes in whichever God they believe in, uh, our God will protect us. And we wish the best and safest night to everybody. <laughs> Hi, we're here with the Agency for Eternal Justice tonight in Jasper, Florida, here at the Old Hamilton County Jail. Tonight we're in search of the paranormal. What lies beyond this door? We're about to find out. Stick with us as we encounter the beyond. Tonight here in Jasper, Florida, we're visiting the Old Jail. We've been asked to come here to investigate the paranormal. As you know, on previous investigations, we have uh, had multiple encounters with paranormal activity. Here in Jasper, Florida, the history behind this jail is that it had the last two hangings in Florida. It is one of the oldest jails ever in continuous use. It's, uh, I believe, six rooms. There's also a private residence attached to the jail. The jail was... Uh, Last used in 1986, so join us now so we investigate. So there are actually books here where you can read through some of the charges that were in the city court. Oh, here, this is an interesting one. Withdrawn by arresting officer, cancelled by mayor. Drunken fighting, drunken disorderly, disorderly conduct, drunken disorderly conduct, fighting, reckless driving. This is the second longest running jail in the United States. It had the last two legal hangings this side of the Mississippi River. Um, the platform was outside and not inside. The cells upstairs to the left were the black men's cells. The cells to the right were the white men's cells. Ladies were kept separate downstairs. Even in the 80s, they were still kept separate, the females versus the males. There was a cell up on the very top, that was for locals, and then the sheriff's department, the sheriff's wife and family lived upstairs as well. We've had um, in the women's cell there was a lady that was um, she committed suicide, and then I think there was one murder in there, and there's been some activity in there. Mm -hmm. The black man's cell is the most active cell. I have a boyfriend here somewhere. He let himself be known on a voice recording one night. And then um, I came in one afternoon to get stuff from my school, and the lights would not come on. Then they would come on, then they wouldn't go off. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Sheriff Hancock received from the governor last Friday morning the death warrant of Walter Durham, the Negro, who was convicted of the last term of circuit court held here for the murder of Deputy Sheriff Rayford Royals. The warrant commands that Durham be hanged in the jail yard here on Friday the 8th of September, which is just two weeks from this Friday. He advised everyone not to have a partner and throw their old pistols away, for they would surely cause trouble some day. He retained his nerve to the last. His last words, goodbye everybody, I am ready to go now. This is the third legal hanging in Hamilton County. And then we have Manny, Chad, and Cece, accompanied by Chase. Chase is... Um, we're gonna, we are lights out at this time. Um, before we start, we'd like to just let any, any, okay. 
Are you okay? Okay. Yeah. Did you just talk you? Yeah. Okay, I was like, okay. Can we do that prayer thing? It's tearing the office of the gel. It's just that opening. Here's some footsteps. We'll retrace the night and see if anybody's actually up there right now. Can you touch the copper wire on the box that CC's holding? Make the light come on. Fool yourself. Try the knocking game again. There we go. Can you do it again? Good job. Maybe one more time. That's pretty good. The more times we do it, the more you prove you're here with us. Now we are entering the female prison. Hello. If anybody is uh, in here with us, we'd like to introduce ourselves. My name is Manny. This is Chad. That's a creepy statue of a mummy right there that was just looking at me. Um, we like to communicate. We came here tonight to communicate with you guys. Um, if there's anything that you would like to say to anyone, any, anybody of your loved ones, please do so. Feel free. We come um, with great respect. So, no need to be feel threatened or anything. Is anybody available to speak with us? Okay. Alrighty. We're leaving. <laughs> Fast. Trees. You see the trees? Ow! Okay, that's Halloween decorations. So we just finished the downstairs female portion of the jail where we're about to go upstairs to the dedicated black and white cells. Also, the locals um, were explained um, by the local historian that the local cell was kind of the Barney of Fife. The uh, locals actually used to answer the phones here in the jail. And then we'll continue on to the segregated cells, the black and the white cells. Um, the black section is where they've had the most actual entities uh, appear here, uh, according to legend. So uh, we'll continue on upstairs. Did you like being locked into this little room? confined here with no contact to anyone was that you to make contact with us? Anything that wants us to
communicate with us. Got Manny here or me. Probably seen some of this equipment before. Does anybody have anything that they would like to say to anybody, any of their loved ones? Would you like us to send a message to anybody? Uh, we know that uh, being locked up is really hard. Um, I know from experience, I, uh, I really was kept away from my family and my friends, and I probably wasn't as long as anybody here, but um, regardless, even one day is really hard. And I, I mean, I, symp I sympathize with you. Um, would you like to tell me anything? Like, tell Chad anything? Uh, if there's anybody here in the room with us, uh, make your presence known, please. Make a sound. You see this before? So the old Hamilton County Jail was one of the most active spots we'd ever been to. Um, right in the beginning of the night, Renee had told us that in the office and the colored cell, we would get a lot of activity, and that's kind of how the night went. Um, started out with myself privately in the office, and I had the ovulus say that the teacher had opened the door, and that was very right on. Um, Renee had told us in the beginning in her interview that the office was kind of the hot spot for asking for her and for other people that had been at the jail. Um, and were there pretty frequently. So that was an interesting start. Um, also had some unexplained orbs appear in the middle of the recording. Um, and then we went on throughout the night. We did the knocking test, had some great results with that. And not just on one occasion, it was repeated multiple times, which was kind of good evidence for me. Um, also, when we were in the, the women's jail, we had some good activity there because what happened was in both cells we had the ovulus where it was strangely asking for food um, and the second cell that we visited, um, CC and myself, had an instance where we were asking it to touch a blue EMF box and basically what that would do is there's a copper wire that measures EMF if there's activity there it lets the blue light up and uh, we were asking for some activity there. The ovulus said fool yourself and then a couple seconds later the EMF box went off. So that was some great evidence that I think we captured. And uh, definitely some good potential to go back there again. So we look forward to that, but we would definitely say there is some activity there.